Hey guys, uh, this is Normal here for Technic and today we are going to do the camera review of the Gioni Marathon M3. So we already talked about Gioni Marathon M3 on our YouTube channel. This is uh, one of the best smartphones with respect to the battery. It has a 5000 mAh massive battery powering the device. So we had done the unboxing and also done the benchmarks and uh, other videos. So now let's do the camera. So there is an 8 megapixel rear camera. Uh, on the device with LED flash and there's also front facing camera so let's uh, open the camera interface so if we, we have already uploaded a video uh, with the camera sample so in case you're looking for camera samples so just have a look at our uh, video so this is the camera interface so it's very simple interface when you open it so you have the left side you have this button where you press you get the option so the interface is exactly similar to what we see on the Gioni eLife E7 mini the rotatable camera the e7 mini also had the similar interface so here we have few options so let's go through these options one by one so first step we have the capture mode uh, here we have options like uh, panorama erase best face uh, face beauty best shot uh, and also the normal shots so these are the options uh, in the capture mode next is how do you want to capture photos so uh, normally is just pressing this button second is you have touch shot uh, when you touch the viewfinder you you take a photo then you have just a shot you can uh, use just just to take the photo and then finally you have the smile shot uh, that is whenever you smile the photo will be taken uh, then uh, next up you have the white balance again you have lots of options daylight fluorescent cloudy uh, shade etc so these are the options in white balance uh, next up uh, you have the color effects uh, uh, we have uh, mono sepia negative aqua blackboard and whiteboard so these are the options so whenever you change a particular option you can see that the viewfinder changes instantly so it's not the photos which changes you can also see it in live action so you can see here whenever we change the um, uh, settings uh, th that's really uh, at the real time it's effect uh, it showed in the viewfinder next up uh, we have the picture frames so you can add a lot of picture frames into the photos so we have a uh, few picture frames frames available here say for example i'll just add a starlight and you can see an additional frame added to the photo similarly there are lots of options we have a halloween uh, so this is a halloween photo uh, then you have lots of other options uh, including rainbow autumn etc so that was the settings um, available uh, on this phone now let's go to the main settings wherein you select the photo and video quality so here we have hdr so HDR can be turned on then uh, you have a swinging switch uh, the picture frame then you have sound enable sound face detection is also available geo tagging is there then you have you can select scene mode uh, there is quite a lot of scene modes available then uh, continuous shots if you if you press the button it will take continuous shot that's um, 20 40 and 99 so these are the options available you can also select the exposure so these are the, the normal set of options uh, available there is also self timer included in the app then you have the saturation brightness contrast picture size so, so you can change the pixel size to from 8 megapixel it goes to up to qvga we are not really sure why we have a, a qvga option on this device so that's really low megapixel then you can select iso it goes from uh, 1600 to 100 then uh, you have the option to enable uh, anti flicker um, then uh, volume keys to shoot you can also enable the volume keys to shoot so that is the setting option on the right side you have uh, the option to switch to flash and also switch to front facing camera and in the sidebar you have this option to uh, switch to video mode so if you switch to video mode uh, the settings are a bit different so you have the uh, three options one is um, the white balance then second is the color effect and in the settings uh, you can uh, see that um, you can uh, shoot videos in 1080p so you can see here video quality is 1080p available then you have image stabilization video stabilization is available uh, few options like uh, video duration can be set the maximum video duration then you have the microphone uh, sharpness and other settings available so these are the def uh, default settings available so we haven't changed these settings when we took the video so it can record videos in 1080p so overall in the interface is a pretty uh, feature rich app so it's very similar to the eLife E7 mini and it does offer lots of features like effects uh, uh, you have uh, options to add uh, picture frames then you can uh, sir, take photos in different manner so those two options are available there are modes as well so overall it's a feature rich camera and the interface isn't really bad it's pretty decent interface not really user friendly but it's pretty decent interface 
so everything is available here and you can minimize this menu as well so overall a pretty decent interface and the interface uh, has pretty uh, pretty much speed as well there isn't much of a lag here or although sometimes when you hit the button there is a slight lag there so that was the interface aspect now let's move on to the photo quality so first up let's take the uh, daylight shot so here are some of the daylight shots taken with this device so these are some of the shots taken uh, with this camera and you can see the daylight shots the exterior shots have pretty much uh, pretty de good detailing and also colors but the real issue is that it, it contains a lot of face uh, that means uh, the photo is not really sharp and the white areas are look a lot uh, hazier than actually it is so that's one of the issues with this device but coming on to the uh, macro shots you can see that uh, the macro shots have come really well the colors and uh, the sharpness and also the contrast ratio is pretty good so uh, the day the although the daylight shots uh, does not have real clarity but the macro shots taken in the daylight have really good quality now moving on to the low light photos ideally this phone is not really suited for low light images or even the night photography but it does have a pretty decent flash and you can take uh, a bit of uh, decent photos in even in the night uh, but you need to use a flash if you don't use a flash uh, the photo looks a lot uh, noisy and there is no clarity and it, it does struggle to focus if the light is uh, very low so that's one real issue with this device in the low light conditions so the photo the camera is not really suited for low light and the photos are not really sharp but if you use the flash it does produce pretty decent shots and the colors again are pretty good even uh, when you take with the flash the flash is, does not overexpose the shots so that's pretty good uh, thing about the camera so uh, the f so summing up the photo quality uh, in the daylight is pretty average uh, if you take macro shots in the daylight it's pretty good and the night photography is again pretty average uh, unless you use flash so that was the camera review of the Geoni Marathon M3 now moving on to the video quality so here is the uh, 1080p sample so have a look at it so as you can see from the video there isn't really sharpness in the image and it looks uh, it doesn't look really great uh, in the 1080p sample and uh, the photo the video also looks a bit shaky even though it's not really shaky so probably uh, this is not the best phone with uh, 1080p recording so overall this camera is pretty average nothing really to boast about and it pr does produce pretty decent shots in the daylight so that was a detailed camera review of the Geoni Marathon M3. Hope you like this video. If you have any specific queries on the camera review, just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video, do hit the like button. Subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching this video.